Hello cousins. Welcome back to Chillin' with Allie. 9-11 p.m. So you got privileged lady in concern. Special person. Okay, so somebody worried about some heavy, yeah, occupation. Now, you. weird it's almost like being concerned about now i don't know if this with this occupation i don't know if this is you concerned about something working out or you're concerned about something at work or you're concerned about how something works i don't know Family room. Unexpected income. What the fuck? So what are you concerned about? Okay. Long story short here. Um. So... If you're a masculine, there's a feminine that could be worried about you like moving on, trying to do this whole family thing with somebody else because they've been getting something from you unexpected, like not unexpected, but it's like you just be giving them whatever they need or whatever the fuck. This person is trying, they're going to like, if you got a kid with this person, they're going to truly threaten child support. That's off top. Yeah, courthouse and community with, with uh journey. This person is like, well, if you leave, you about to be paying child support. That's just what it is. Point blank, period. If Yeah, and then I see on another end though, whether you're feminine or masculine, I see there's a privileged lady here who's concerned regardless because with occupation, family room, and unexpected income, something works completely out for you. It's like you completely dismiss something and replace the whole back half. It's almost like you start moving shit around like it's Legos. Like you literally just disconnect the whole half and put a whole new half in there and that fucks this other person up. Like mature man house, yeah, whether you're feminine or masculine, because you got coughing and lovers, you got message and distant horizon, yeah, that shit crazy, it's truly like just moving shit around like Legos, you're concerned about something one way or another, you don't have to be, you're concerned about this privileged lady, whoever that is, you don't have to be, something is about to just fall into your lap, yeah, thoughts, adjudication, It's like you keep thinking about their uh, like a final decision or what they're going to do or how they feel about something. I don't really know why you're worried about that, but you are. The whole thing is about to be completely just. Just like when you think it's going to rain for like <laughs> you think it's going to rain for the next 10 hours and it rain for 20 minutes and then it stop completely. And it's just sunny with all the clouds gone and, you know, nice day out. everything is good but you tripping you it's like you are so concerned about what somebody gonna say or yeah like you're so concerned about what somebody gonna say or something you have mature woman thief and distant horizons you're getting away from whatever the fuck this is what are you worried about I 
I don't know what you worried about, but it's almost like whether you, even if you're the masculine here, it's just like you think that whoever this mature woman is going to come fucking up something. So, yeah, so then on another note, whoever these, this person and whoever the fuck they're dealing with, somebody's trying to come towards you, but they're worried about whoever this is also like telling all the real. They done told whoever the fuck this is everything about you and more they done discussed you on some real ignorant type shit like whatever the fuck they done said this person is willing to really spill the beans on the other person like yeah let me tell you what what such and such said since y'all so comfy and all you know hugged up and shit let me tell you what he said let me tell you what she said somebody is getting some type of money like pretty often from this fucking person and they like yeah like bitch i wish you would come and ring the alarm yeah that's how somebody is right now ring the alarm i'd be damned if i see another bitch on your arm this person whoever this is they're concerned well this person is about to just wild out because they're concerned about you moving on and shit or you getting whatever the fuck you know what i'm saying they feel like it's theirs this other person is concerned about this person coming towards you because they want to come towards you. Hell no, y'all better keep that shit over there with y'all. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Pathway, yeah. This person trying to... This one of the... Uh, uh, this, whoever the fuck this is, she treat him like baby D. Yeah, child... This gotta be his baby mama or something. Yeah, child and, and son and wealth. Or she pregnant? Uh, she either pregnant or pregnant again, possibly. But yeah, he thinking something like it ain't mine or whatever. I don't know what the fuck he thinking. I, I don't know. But this person wants to come towards you. This feminine is tripping the fuck out. Like, oh yeah, let me let me. Or this could be a this could be something that she just lie about. Like, oh well, you know this the case. Like, you know I'm pregnant. Like, it's gonna be some some shit like that. Like, she about to do whatever she can to keep you away from this nigga. But the thing is, I don't even think you want to deal with whoever this is. It's like this. It's like she is really grabbing. I see it. It's like she is grabbing a hold of this nigga, his shirt and everything. He doing all of this, all this turning and shit, trying to break loose. Like, nigga, y'all better keep that crazy shit over there for both of y'all. <laughs> hey, bitch, you don't want no juice. <laughs> now, I ain't listening to either one of y'all. Y'all better take that shit over there fuck wrong with y'all yeah mature man mature woman this nigga over here dealing with somebody else that shit's going left now he looking at privileged lady like oh well, what's up nigga whoever he deal with is a psycho that's what it is <laughs> Whoever the fuck, whoever the fuck this is, you couldn't get rid of them. Oh, you can now. You can now. You can now. They want you bad enough to not bring this crazy shit towards you, right? Okay. Well, as long as she's attached to him, this seems very uh Joe and Quinn like. You know what I mean? Like super unhealthy and really toxic this just doesn't seem like you know it just doesn't seem good it seems very <laughs> it seems very joe and quinn like then you got privileged lady and thoughts like what the fuck like oh He ain't playing no games with her. Why? Because she ain't playing no games with him. I bust the windows out your car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hell no. Nah. She ain't playing with this nigga. She get active. She get real physical with his ass, right? Yo, this fucking masculine is really thinking about true feminine. Like, I'm trying to come toward, toward this feminine. But whoever the fuck, this, whoever this bitch is, she done made some type of threats. Like, yeah, I wish you would go over there. I wish da 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 Yo, he like... He damn near wondering, like, should I try that shit? Like, should I try, you know what I'm saying? Should I, like, because I don't want this person, in, but she will follow me over there and shit. Like, so should I go over there and, like, try to, yeah, because then this nigga think he finna bring these problems to, to you and shit. This nigga think he finna bring these problems to you. Like, she hot on his fucking trail and she just, he, this nigga think he finna hide out with you. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, these two motherfuckers that I all I can say is they best bet is they better keep that shit wherever the fuck they at. That's all I can say. Cause you got a masculine trying to come toward a fucking privileged lady. So this feminine mind of her fucking business and whoever the fuck this mature woman is is fucking with this nigga enough to where she fucking his act like she be fucking his like oh okay like you about to you about to go where you about to do what she is busting this nigga windows out she probably keying up the car she probably making death threats at their house she probably threatening all type of crazy ass shit and that nigga still got the audacity while all of that shit is going on to be thinking about you feminist so either he he fried <laughs> he fried Cause if you slept with this nigga and it, that shit got this nigga getting his windows busted out, bitch, and he's still trying to come towards you, hey, I think you should lock that up. I don't think, I don't mean, masculine. If you got a feminine out here acting crazy like that, or a nigga out here busting out this feminine windows behind that, I think you should lock that up. I think you should lock that up. It got to be like special recommend, like not even recommendation. It got to be, it got to be like an exclusive club. Like, you know how Ferrari does not give everybody cars. Like, bitch, I don't care how much money you got. Bitch, let me, let me know about you. Let me get to know you before you get this, <laughs> before you get this car. Yeah, it just, it just seemed like, man, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like, I feel like you, I feel like if you got people acting like this, whether you're feminine or masculine, I ain't even trying to be funny. I know y'all laughing and shit. I'm not even trying to be funny. I feel like you got people acting like this. You need to, you need to, you need to lock that up. Yeah, because she trying to get you up out of there, my boy. Like, he, he, like, she, like, this bitch trying to take him out. Or nigga, he trying to take her to fuck, like, oh, like, hell no, bro. Cause thoughts and privilege, lady. It could be the other way around with this masking. Like, yeah, hold on, bitch. I know you are. Right. Let me find out you busting it down for the town, like Clown Town and Pound Town. Let me find out, bitch. Let me find out. <laughs> this shit crazy. This shit is nuts. This is crazy, bro. And then somebody, baby mama, out here getting down for real. Cause all I hear is T.I. say, nigga, she ain't on yours. We share the bitch. But let me find out she having your baby, though. <laughs> hey, damn. Yo. Okay, so there is two masculines here. You got the mature man and you also got the wealthy man. My nigga, these two niggas done fucked her. I don't know who is who, but whoever the fuck trying to come towards you is one of these people this dude done fuck somebody and whoever this wealthy man is i feel like these this mature man this mature woman they together but she stepped out on this nigga <laughs> like boy blake i feel like she stepped out on buddy or he stepped out on her but this 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 uh wealthy man is concerned about like you go outside uh, listen it's either they concerned about a kid or they concerned about uh you got one and two and then you got courtship bro marriage you got multiple situations going on right here with great fortune somebody pop up pregnant in one of these uh courthouse imprisonment message adjudication yeah, it's all type of shit going down here bucko somebody finding out hey he for the streets Yeah, this wealthy man, though, and, and message of concern, somebody is getting that whole, like, she probably pregnant message, like, that nigga tweaking. He don't know what to do. You must be younger than both of them because... I don't know i just get that vibe now you may not be though but you're you show up totally different like it's something if it's not the age range it's something totally different about you compared to like them like you just seem like you all doing your own thing and then you just catch somebody attention here or this mature woman stepping out with this fucking privileged lady and this masculine concern like well shit or this masculine fucking with both of these women, either this privileged lady or this mature man is fucking worried, like wealthy man message of concern. I don't know how this goes, but I know somebody's scared that a baby could be theirs, but then whoever somebody is cheating. 
Then somebody looking at a whole nother person. So this crazy. I'm not laughing because it's funny. Like if you in the situation, but if you ain't, I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was very insensitive. And I didn't even mean to say it like that and start laughing. It was just, <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of funny to me, though, you know? No, nah, because this shit really ain't for you. And not funny. Like, it's not funny because. It's not funny only because one of the people here actually did. Like, they about to find out that this person was, like, cheating and shit. And they was being faithful. But then again, like, I'm wondering. <laughs> I'm wondering if the same person that's about to find out that they was getting cheated on. Like, I wonder if they was doing this shit, too. Like, and then that's why they're concerned. That they probably, you know, that they possibly got trapped up with somebody. I'm wondering if that's the case. I'm just over here laughing and shit like it's funny. <laughs> Journey. So somebody is going to play. This seems so weird. I instantly got why did I get married too when when Troy found out that Sheila was taking care of Mike. When he showed up at the house. Oh, yeah. This is what you'll do. <laughs> Yo, somebody is prepared to tweak out like that. He thinking about, do I risk this? He he willing to do, like, switch rental cars and draw down the street 10 times. Circle around. Like, nigga, you look like you casing shit all to get away from her. That shit don't make no sense. You better make that shit work. No, that's toxic. Y'all better, y'all better go to counseling and then make that shit work. Like, what the fuck? Don't nobody need that out here. Keep that with y'all. Y'all look like y'all meant to be. But see, the problem is you got a mature man, a mature woman. Somebody was out here. It looked like this female was out here doing a thing. She was out here doing the do. And then whoever the fuck this wealthy man is, like this nigga must have money or something. Because he showed up as a wealthy man. He had lovers. They was intimate. And he on the list of possible baby daddies. He don't like that shit. I feel like on another note, though, like, it's so many ways this story is going. So, on one note, it's, okay. Because either way, there's an extra person that end up concerned that they having a fucking kid. Like, what the fuck? But then, this wealthy man could also be this mature man with this uh, mature woman. Like, she cheating on him. This nigga go to try to cheat on her. And then he fuck around. And she like, oh, you know what I'm saying? The extra person like, oh, you know what I'm saying? This could be the case. Like, you know? I only fuck with you, but you know, this this could be the case. I just want you to know. They like, oh my God, yeah. So somebody starts tweaking the fuck out. Yo, whoever the fuck these two dudes is, I don't know. I feel like whoever the fuck this wealthy man is, he seems very strange. Like he just some rando that just comes in out of nowhere. This rando just start dropping off dick to this fucking woman and then all of a sudden like unexpected income and message of concern like what the fuck but the thing is it seems like this nigga do the shit all the time or something yeah house it seems like house give expectation lovers and coffin with child yeah that's what i'm saying like this nigga just be dropping dick off and shit he seemed like he get that message often or something i don't know what the fuck it is about that vibe it just seems like that ain't the yeah the two fucking wines and the ace of swords like this this is like the first time he getting some news like that yeah the higher fine and the ten of pentacles with the fucking judgment the seven of swords this person just like what the fuck the moon and the three of pentacles this this nigga always got pregnancy scares going the fuck on Whoever the fuck this mature woman is, is worried that sh that he's trying to fuck with this privileged lady. I guess the, the, for some of y'all, the mature man and the wealthy man is the same one. Because you got a message of concern right in the middle. Like, you was grown when you was doing that shit. Then you get scared and shit. Now you willing to pay for to get that up out of here. 
that's what the fuck somebody wealthy man and unexpected income somebody is like feminine if you pregnant like, hey we go ahead go ahead go to the go on, go on ahead go on ahead get fixed that's what it that and he's telling you like i'm willing to pay for that shit all because he's attached to this uh this mature woman that's actually over here she concerned that she pregnant with another nigga baby this shit is wild bro I couldn't even make this shit up. Like I'm, I, I'm talented, but this will take me a second to really sit here and make this crazy shit up. Like I'm talking, if I, we turn this into a movie, this would be a good one. This, this shit is, he it's heavy, it's hectic, it's crazy. All these moving parts involved. It don't matter how you look at it. Whoever the fuck this wealthy man is is out here doing some shit. She ain't, he ain't got no business to be doing. He either fucked off in somebody else's relationship or maybe it happened twice or something with two different people. It looked like he fucked off in a relationship once. It looks like these two people was together, but she stepped out and like went a distance from this nigga. Like, well, shit, like, mm -hmm. fuck it, we can go the distance. And they did. Then he gets the message of concern and he willing to pay for it then to get it up out of it, right? Then another female pops up. Privileged lady thoughts journey. Another female pops up. He takes the same approach. Oh, well, you know what? Now there's somebody involved. He doesn't want this other person to, to ever know that even this type of shit even be going on. He don't want this other person knowing about this shit here. So feminine. There's a either this you or this another feminine. But there's a, a privileged lady thoughts. Privileged lady thoughts journey. This person is like, I don't know. It could be, but I don't know for real. Yeah, this nigga, yet again, his response is the same thing. Message of concern, wealthy man, unexpected income. They willing to give you the, the, the money for that. They willing to give you the money for that. To make sure that their relationship and their home is intact. They is willing to, like, hey, we got to go get fixed with that shit, right? Yeah, poverty and journey. that's what i'm saying what the fuck is it with all these extra people like this nigga is so weird like what's up there's something that he just be doing what is wrong with y'all why is everybody just out here just doing like what the fuck how is there so many pregnancy scares left and fucking right and how the fuck does the same type of like it's either the same person or the same two people this shit keeps happening because there's something but here's the thing even if these were two different people something's weird as fuck though because it seems like both females that they're fucking with is doing this shit it seems like let's say this person this wealthy man let's say he in a relationship but he fucking off with whoever the fuck she is right let's say this mature man is actually with her or uh whatever the fuck right i don't know like they they both fuck with her and shit same girl same girl yeah that's that that type shit man what the fuck how do you fuck off in somebody else's relationship almost like you you get a pregnancy scare and shit and the first thing you think that when, when when you go to get love you think it ain't gonna be no fuck shit in the way yeah so no wonder whoever fuck this is what they didn't know why they was dealing with this fucking pregnancy scare they kept that shit quiet maybe they didn't maybe they told but i highly doubt that this person said anything about it what they don't know is the female that they was dealing with at the same time of trying to hide this shit they also was dealing with a pregnancy scare they didn't know if it was this nigga baby or somebody else they didn't want to say nothing because it was it really that ain't the type of thing you want to be wrong about that's not the type of thing you want to be wrong about yeah that's what he don't know and that's what she don't know yeah so these two niggas were sitting next to each other doing dirt the whole fucking time both had pregnancy scares at the same exact time the same way this person would never say that they did it the other person would never say that they did that shit either they ain't gonna admit that shit they ain't gonna admit that yeah they both had pregnancy scares at the same time that's karma for your ass like what the fuck everybody gonna be shocked when that shit come out because some way shape or form that shit is coming out and it has something to do with this female feeling some type of way about this masculine because this masculine is trying to fuck with you so she's gonna come towards you and say something it's gonna prompt or he gonna come towards you and say something however it go this shit gonna prompt the response of hold the fuck up 
um xyz was going down at that time they're gonna be in their feelings they're gonna get the going off and then they're gonna reveal it too like oh yeah that's why i ain't even give a fuck because i was cheating too mm -hmm. that's how it's gonna come out yeah that's how it's gonna come out change child journey somebody they was willing to get this shit the fuck up out of here the crazy part is both parties was willing to do this shit like on both sides like they this nigga and this bitch that's in a relationship together or was in a relationship yo they think just alike they deserve each other like they might have a kid or something i don't know but that shit crazy as fuck like they like buddy was willing to pay for that shit and whoever the fuck was dealing with her was willing to pay for that shit like man hell yeah we can go ahead and get that get that up out of here yeah because they didn't want to disappoint the other person i think something here funny as hell is about to come out these these two are in for a rude awakening it's coming real soon i don't know how but divine definitely wants that shit out it has something to do with this female not being able to, so it's either this masculine masculine either he can't keep your fucking name out his fucking mouth or it's this female that can't keep your name out her goddamn mouth feminine either way it go it got something to do with oh you want to fuck with that nigga you want to fuck with that bitch it's something like that you disrespect my motherfucking cousin one more time and shit gonna get real like me and Jay sat with him, kicked it and had a chat with him. <laughs> no, me and Dre sat with him, kicked it and had a chat with him. We asked him just to stop, but he wasn't gonna go after him. So I started mag yabbing in magazines how he stabbed him. Nigga, fuck it, 50 smash him, mash him, let him have it. Like, bro, somebody is being told, like, and it could even be from this person, like, yo, stop talking about this person or stop bringing up this person or whatever the fuck, because they're disrespectful as fuck, like, but the thing is, this person wouldn't have a reason or they, they, they wouldn't feel the need to be disrespectful if it wasn't for the common denominator, so you putting niggas in these positions, you got motherfuckers looking at, looking at, you know what I'm saying, shit left ways from Sunday? You thought that you was about to come in and play savior because whoever the fuck this is is talking about how they want to get married and some more shit. Yeah, somebody here about trifling as hell because, yeah, both sides of this shit, feminine, you could have been dealing with this masculine. Yeah, pregnancy scare, the bitch he was dealing with had the same one at the same time. Feminine, you could have been, or uh, uh, masculine, you could have been dealing with this feminine. Pregnancy scare, yeah. The bitch that, uh, or the nigga that she was fucking with had one at the same time. Like, yeah, this shit crazy as hell. Like, both sides was just out here fucking tweaking out. So, you got two people that's just out here doing whatever the fuck they want to, and they connected to each other. Sounds to me like a whole bunch of bullshit that they trying to get other people to be in. Like, that's some shit don't nobody want to be a part of. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Yeah, great fortune. This person cannot stop staring at you or both parties can't. Yeah, coffin and high honor. You you gotta thank your lucky fucking stars that you never got like connected to this shit. Like child and poverty, like nigga, you better be lucky, bro. Feminine or masculine, like bro, you better be lucky, bro. Because what the fuck, whoever this wealthy man is, it's either on his mind that he trying to have a kid right now, or he finna pull that shit again. Yeah, the lovers in the, in the, mm -mm, lovers in message, yeah, this person is like, I just, I feel like we should have a child, or I want to, it's something weird as hell with this individual. You got official person, yeah, adjudication, and like, what the fuck? All of a sudden, here come this person talking totally different. Like, bitch, you better get your dumb ass out of here. You got false person in marriage. No, go on about your business, wacko. Go on ahead, you fucking. Go on ahead, Napoleon. This person's fucking crazy. I'll be right back. 